a 10 month old affiliate website earning $1400 per month with just 42 articles and no PBNs. How is that possible? That's what we are going to find out in this video. Hi, my name is Navdeep Soni. I'm an SEO consultant. And on this channel, we break the myth that you cannot earn a handsome income online. Before we begin by dissecting of SEO strategies used in this website, I want to clarify that this is not my website. This is a website up for sale in the marketplace for a month right now. And I thought, let's dive into what are the things that are working for this website and what is it that is holding back from its further growth. So before we begin, let me share some key details about this website. The website name is jeephunter.net and was started in April 2021, almost one year now. It has now around 48 articles at the time of recording this video with monthly traffic of over 30K per month. It has two main sources of revenue that is affiliate income from Amazon, which is the major share and some little income through AdSense. Its main audience is in the US. It has earned around an average of $1,400 per month from its first 10 months. And during its first four months, there was zero earnings. And since December 2021, it has consistently crossed over $1,700 per month. So on an average of last 10 months, it's $1,400 per month. And surprisingly, its DA is 2 as per HRFs and 44 as per SEMrush. When I looked at the backlink profile, nothing fancy there. It has around 2k backlinks from 447 domains. All seems organic and does not look like any link building campaign was done. So the important question right now is how does this website grow so fast? You must be thinking maybe it is an expired domain or a 301 redirects from an expired domain. Well, it is an expired domain, but nothing special about it that will boost is SEO. Someone has bought this domain in 2013, but did not work on this website or on this domain over the years. No content, zero content, nothing. So now you must be wondering, so what are we left with? The most important right now, on-page SEO. If you guys have been following me on Twitter, you know I have been a big proponent of on-page SEO entities and content hubs. So is that what it is working for it? Let's find out. I did a mini audit of this website and find some issues in this small website, but that we will discuss in the end when we discuss how to further grow this website. And frankly speaking, this website is a typical example of a weekend side hustle. The guy is following the basics of SEO, nothing fancy, in no way looking to outsmart anyone on the web. He had a clear goal, clear vision to rank this website ASAP and make an exit by selling it. This site is up for sale for around $42,000. USD. Now let's discuss on-page SEO and content on this website. If you look at the keywords, none of them are high competition keywords. The top keywords that are bringing traffic are easy to rank or to the max of average to medium difficulty. In affiliate websites, most people falter at niche selection. Most people who are new to affiliate marketing end up selecting a tough niche when compared with the resources they have or the skill set they have. His niche selection is interesting and very smart. It is not something everyone would think of. The competition in the niche is above average. Jeep as a niche is neither too broad nor too niche down. The average price of product is just around a few hundred dollars. So even if he's selling using Amazon, he will get a decent commission. And interestingly, this also means that he doesn't need a big traffic numbers to make a respectable affiliate income. He started earning a few hundred dollars as affiliate income right from the fourth month with little traffic coming to his website. Now let's look at the breakup of all the articles on this website. He has around 48 to 50% information articles that are easy to rank as well as they help in building authority in his niche. Now don't confuse it with Ahrefs domain authority. I'm talking about the authority in the eyes of the Google. When Google knows you have been putting out content on niche on a consistent basis with quality, it gets comfortable in indexing and ranking you on these niche specific articles. That's exactly what has happened here. And if you go to the home page or individual posts, the UI is very basic, but the website loads faster. In fact, if a new buyer works on the UI, there will be a better conversions. Now, if you see these buttons and tables on these posts, they can be way better 
and will definitely help in better conversion and sales. I checked a few articles and compare them with the ones in the SERPs. And this guy knows what he is writing about. The quality is good. The structure of every article is well thought out. And all the important topics have been covered in H2s and H3s in most articles. If you put these articles into surfer or phrase, you will quickly see if the articles are well covered or not. And if you don't have subscription to these software tools, you can do it manually by using any free NLP analyzer and list down the most important entities used in the SERPs. And mind you, this activity should be part of your content brief so that the writer knows exactly what to cover. If you have not seen my content brief video, then do check it out after seeing this video. If you see the website structure, this website does not use any silos. Actually, they don't need to with only 40, 50 content pieces. So now where can it improve or how to grow this website? I think it has a lot of potential. Firstly, there is an ample scope to add content do a proper keyword research and make a content plan. There are still a lot of keywords left with average to medium difficulty that can be easily incorporated into your content plan. On the technical side, I noticed few 404s, but nothing major. So now let's look into some quick wins in terms of increasing the revenue with existing content. It is using AdSense as ad platform. So switching to Ezoic or Mediavine when there is more traffic will boost a significant jump in ads revenue, which is negligible right now. Amazon has a good conversion rate, but they provide the lowest affiliate percentages. So adding other platforms with better payouts will definitely increase the revenue. And lastly, as I mentioned earlier in the video, improving UI will improve in better conversions. Trust me, this is the most underrated tip that many people usually ignore. So that was the quick breakdown or analysis of this website. And I hope it was useful and inspiring for some of you. Let me know if you like such reviews and would like to see more such videos. That is it for today. Do check out the description for important links related to this video. Bye for now.